Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 18th to the 24th of January 2021 for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Aquarius and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Aquarius please? Okay, card turned over so let's go with it. We have the page of coins. And angels, what is the message Aquarius needs to hear the most for the week, please? Message Aquarius needs to hear most. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's really good with the page of coins in the near future. Okay, Aquarius, let's pull some cards and see what we get. So I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. Second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what is the message for Aquarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides for the week. 18th to the 24th of January 2021. Message for Aquarius, please. Thank you. Two cards. Oh, we have the Eight of Wands and the Fool. Very nice. Okay, so your challenge, we have the Nine of Wands. Okay. King of Pentacles is advised from Spirit. And we have the Two of Cups. Okay, message for Aquarius, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Coins or the Eight of Pentacles clarifies the Nine of Wands, King of Pentacles uh, is clarified by the Four of Cups and wow, I mean look at that, the Ace of Pentacles clarifies the Two of Cups and we've got the Fool again. So there's a new chapter here. I mean, the Fool is appearing twice. And as a result, because it's appearing twice and it's Major Arcana, which is the big influences in our lives, it is the dominating influence combined with this Ace of Pentacles. There is definitely some kind of new chapter, new beginning coming your way, which is very beautiful. And again, the pages. I mean, it's, it's kind of emphasized by the page as well, because the page of coins is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change, and we're talked about in the near future. Now, the page of coins can be career financial opportunities. Can also be to do with um, manifesting something, manifesting something new the beginnings of growth in a situation. Generally, the page of coins sets yourself up for the long term. Sometimes it's linked with skills development um, for that reason. You know, it could be going in a new direction in terms of career or learning new skills or getting more qualifications, that kind of energy as well. And it's all to kind of set yourself up for the long term energy. But it's definitely an energy of some and in the future for some of you. There's the beginnings of something new coming your way and it's the beginnings of growth now very good in terms of money and career i have to say i love this because for some of you uh, you may have had challenges in terms of finances i mean the two of coins can actually be juggling money 
it can also be having a lot on your plate multiple priorities trying to do a million things at once you know it's that kind of energy but generally when the two of coins appears it's generally within your capability to deal with you know this person juggles and dances at the same time so regardless of, of feeling the pressure or feeling that there's a lot going on in your life at the moment, whatever this challenge is or whatever your multiple things going on in your life or you're grappling with, um, it feels in this situation, it's, it's definitely within your ability to deal with. You're not dropping any coins here. So whatever this challenge has been, Aquarius, there is definitely an energy that you've dealt with it practically and very well. The Eight of Wands is about a shift coming your way, movement, change, and it promises growth. I mean, this is out of the blue energy. All of a sudden, bam, it just happens. And it's linked to the full, which is the new beginning. So definitely this situation of you might have been grappling with something. And it, it can be, you know, how you've been prioritizing, managing a situation. But nevertheless, there is some shift coming your way that's opening a new door, and it's a big new door. It's beautiful. And it comes on the back of the challenge of, of you've been working so hard and didn't feel like you were getting anywhere. Well, definitely for some of you, the shift is coming this week. It's a big shift. Um, the Eight of Coins is hard work. Uh, doing one thing at a time. I mean, Germany and energy is also about doing something that you enjoy and being recognized, getting noticed. So like I said, I mean, there's an opportunity to bring growth, you know, being recognized for your hard work, being recognized for your skills, something that you do very well as well. And this can also be a card of the apprentice, the learning, education. Again, some of you may have been developing your skills or getting more qualifications in how you dealt with this situation to open this new door. You've been putting a lot of hard work, but it feels in the right direction. But then again, this nine of wands is kind of like saying, oh gosh, when is it going to appear? Well, it feels, this is so close. This is a so close energy. You're so close, you know, um, to bring in change into your life and there's definitely in your present position some shift or news coming in so it feels very beautiful indeed king of pentacles with the four of cups there's definitely this energy here, Aquarius, of it feels like for some of you, you have been giving deep thought to your situation. I mean, this is the divine nudge card. This is a card of taking action. This is a card of being enlightened by the universe on how you need to move forward. And for some of you, it feels in bringing greater wealth, abundance, security, stability in your life. I mean, that's what that King of Pentacles represents. It's a Taurus energy. It could well be somebody is bringing in an opportunity not to be missed as well. I mean, that can be that energy as well because the King holds the Pentacle, which is appearing at the end of your reading. So for some of you, there is an opportunity not to be missed that you're being guided towards now. And that's what the Spirit wants you to know. This is an opportunity that you're being guided towards now. Um, and again, there's sometimes this can be a stagnating energy. So don't let everything get on top of you. This is absolutely time for action and keep on going. You know, there's a tendency with the nine of wands to, to want to give up, to want to throw the towel in, even though you're so close. So I kind of feel that this energy is just saying, keep going, keep going, because the abundance, the success, the opportunity, call it what you will, is coming into your life. Now, in terms of love, romance, relationships, for some of you, this could also be somebody new. Somebody new coming into your life. Um, again, that you're being guided towards. So because the Two of Cups is appearing, I mean, there could be somebody new in your life as well. Like I said, this is very good in terms of money and career. Um, but the Two of Cups is an energy of a bond between two people, an offer that brings you joy, you know, uh, like-minded souls, uh, kindred spirits. 
but it's it's very good in terms of love romance relationships but it's also an energy of a bond being established you know there is an exchanging energy uh, exchanging two cups you know exchanging like-minded um views that kind of energy you know um feeling like you're fitting in a new place so it could well be in terms of job offers um financial offers um career business offers you know it's that kind of energy so for some of you there's definitely an energy for greater wealth security stability coming your way it's a powerful new chapter that's for sure could equally be with somebody new in love but the message remains the same you have the opportunity now to manifest something new and it's going to is the beginnings of growth setting yourself up for the long term and again that ace of pentacles is certainly in terms of if, if i was talking about love romance relationships the beginnings of manifesting something new it's a guided opportunity it's a gift given to you by god the universe the divine definitely there is definitely an, a door beginning to open for you and equally the two of cups can be a card of an offer or an invitation coming your way very good in terms of career financial opportunity um, it's absolutely beautiful and you've been given guidance every step of the way towards this so I love this energy for that reason absolutely beautiful and there's definitely an energy of don't think twice take the leap of faith take the chance on this this isn't an energy to ponder this isn't an energy to uh, second guess this is an energy of jump straight in go for it now uh, because remember the sun shines on the fool it's a guided energy you're being guided to take that leap of faith take that chance um, and it is a powerful powerful beautiful optimistic feel good new beginning um, so very very good in terms of money career like i said could equal, equally be manifesting a new relationship and being ready for that um, definitely this energy of getting no notice getting recognized as well um, so beautiful energies here Aquarius of some beautiful opportunity in the near future coming your way so I'm going to pull a final card love this reading <laughs> But Two Fools, it's a big new chapter. And it's coming in swiftly. Yeah, I like this energy, the purity. Because for me, the purity, not only is it a transformational energy, we see all the white, which is the alchemist color of transformation, but we also see the fact that it's wiping the slate clean. You know, it's a blank canvas energy. Definitely getting that. Um, so we have always trust the purity of your heart, look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question. Beautiful. And you're being guided by your heart energy, by your intuitive energy. It's beautiful. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the reading Aquarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.